What's good, Pulse team? Hey, happy Monday. Hopefully you're enjoying your Monday, um, your summertime to actually to the best of, of your abilities with everything that's going on. But today we're gonna be talking about finding favor with your parents. And the reason we're talking about today, that's today is because due with the quarantine and not being able to go out and do much, you know, um, we're all in a position, especially you, to be around your family more than normal. You can't go to school. You can't go do this, can't do that. So you're around each other more than normal and that could be good, but it could also be bad depending on how you are and how things are at home. So we're gonna be talking about finding favor with parents. And when I was little, I had a hard time finding favor with my parents, especially my mom. My dad wasn't really around much, but my mom, I struggled with that because I did not like school. I didn't, there was a lot, there's not much I liked about school, to be honest with you, when I was growing up, and that's a whole other story. But I would do it up, everything I could to avoid going to school. And I was running out of ideas, and one of my classmates gave me an idea, and I think I was like nine years old when this happened. And uh, so one day I'm eating breakfast, I'm eating Captain Crunch, by the way, a lot of Captain Crunch. My mom was in the kitchen, she walked off to go do something in the bath, in her bedroom. But I knew she was gonna come back soon, because she had something on the stove. Well, right away I took a, a few big spoonfuls of Captain Crunch, kept them in my mouth, chewed them up, and waited for her to come over around the corner. As she comes around the corner, I started moaning like, mm, 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 and then I just threw all that stuff up. But again, it wasn't throw up, it was just Captain Crunch. But it looked so real, and my mom panicked. She's like, ay, mijito, pobrecito. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. I got my mom, so I got to stay home. Unfortunately, I was only able to pull that, up, pull that off two other times before mom realized I was I wasn't sick, you know, and I couldn't fool her. So in that situation, I lost her favor. And to earn that favor and trust back, I had to be more honest and be more of an, a person of integrity, which I didn't even know what that word was when I was younger. But Colossians 3.20 tells us this, children obey your parents in everything for this pleases God. So when we obey our parents, not only is it pleasing to them, but it's pleasing to God because that's the way God created it. He created us to have parents, to teach us, to guide us and direct us, you know, and to help teach us things about life. And we are to obey them. Now as children, all of us, even when I was younger, we have rights, but we also have responsibilities. And our foremost number one responsibility is to obey our parents, okay? Now someone who doesn't obey their parents at a young age, doesn't learn how to do that, is most likely gonna grow up to disobey and defy authority. They're gonna be disrespectful and not obey their teachers, uh, police officers, um, uh, employers when you get to work, it, you know, even friends. They're, they're just gonna have a hard time obeying people because they had never learned it from the beginning. Okay, so that's the sad thing. So hopefully you're, you're at the point where you're learning to obey your parents. Not that you're perfect, but you're learning to obey because it's gonna help you become a better person, help you to obey authority, you know, at work, at college, in sports, whatever you're gonna do. If you're gonna be military, you know, it's all about respecting authority. Now Exodus 20, 12 tells us this, Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land that the Lord God is giving you. You know, so here God is telling us again to obey our parents. And by doing that, we will have a long, good life, okay, by obeying our parents and being obedient to them. Now, how you treat your parents today is going to determine how you will be treated tomorrow or even in the future because we reap what we sow. You know, so in other words, some of you out there, maybe all of you, one day you're going to have kids. You know, so the way you treat your parents now, most likely parents are going to treat you, this, your, your children in the future are going to treat you the same or maybe even worse because there's that saying, what goes around comes around, but we reap what we sow. So it's important that we start that today, okay? Now, one of the sweetest things in life is enjoying a happy home, especially in the circumstances we're living under today. And you can become either two things at home. You can either become the source of joy or you can become the source of rebellion. And I really hope and pray that you choose joy over rebellion. So here are three things to do to find favor with your parents. You could be both parents. Um, you, you, might be, you might be in a single um, parent home, so all your mom or your dad. But either way, these are to help find, find favor with your parents. The first one is choose, okay? Choose to obey your parents immediately, whether or not you feel like it. Even if you feel like it or you don't, please, Take the opportunity to immediately obey them when they ask you to do something or they're trying to teach you to do something. You're eventually going to have to obey them, right? So why not do it right away? So just get it done, get it out of the way. And I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean that in a healthy way, okay? Now listen to this. The measure of a child's obedience is in all things. And the motive is to please God. So we're to be obedient to our parents in all things, okay? And by doing this, we're doing it because we want to please God and we want to please our parents. So first one, choose to obey your parents immediately. Number two, honor your parents when you speak and communicate with them. 
when you guys are talking, you know, honor them. Don't disrespect them. Don't roll their eyes or like, oh my gosh, oh no, you didn't. You know, don't be disrespectful. You know, communicate with them in a healthy way. Even if you don't agree with them, communicate with them in a healthy way. Even if you're in the middle of discussing some kind of agreement or negotiate a better deal for you, you know, speak with respect and communicate in a healthy way. Don't do it with anger, don't do it with an attitude, okay? You'll be amazed with the results and the outcome you get when you do this, okay? And it doesn't mean you're gonna get your way all the time, but you're gonna learn how to communicate and you're gonna grow and they're gonna grow and your relationship's gonna grow. Now number three, be truthful and honest, okay? Be truthful and honest with your parents, even when it's gonna get you in trouble, okay? You will lose favor very quickly when you can't be trusted. And I can tell you this from experience, because I'm a parent, all right? So I know what that's like. You can easily lose a parent's trust if you're not being honest with them and truthful, okay? It's better to take the heat if you have it coming than to lie and avoid it. That's just the reality, okay? Lies will eventually be uncovered. The truth will be told. And the consequences are much more damaging than telling the truth would have been. So I remember when I was younger, I thought I got away with a lot of stuff. But as I got older, you know, my mom and I thankfully we laughed about it. She knew a lot of this garbage I was doing. And even as a parent, it was like, I would find out stuff without even investigating. You know, there's people out there that are watching or accidentally see something or they hear something and they care about your child, so they tell you as parents. So the truth will eventually be revealed, so be truthful and be honest. This is what it boils down to, my friends. Listen to your parents, obey your parents, respect your parents, love your parents, and thank God for your parents. And I wanna make something very clear. I'm talking about parents that are wise, parents that are investing in you, parents that have great values and morals, godly morals and values, and they're wanting to help you grow to become a better adult to prepare you for life. I'm not talking about obeying parents that are, are pushing you to do the opposite in life where they're encouraging you to go out and drink, to do drugs, to go sleep around, to do all these things, to jump off a cliff. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about parents that are truly loving you, who have a healthy relationship with God and a healthy relationship with you, and their passion and desire is to invest in you, to love on you, and to prepare you for your future. So those are the kinds of parents I am talking about. Hopefully this encourages you. Hopefully this helps you to obey your parents more this week and win that favor back. Maybe some of you are having some tension with your mom and dad because of some of the things that I talked about that you're not doing. You know, So hopefully this helps you to uh, grow more in your communication skills with your parents and to learn more about the importance of obeying your parents because it pleases God. Love you guys and hope to see you all on Wednesday. All right, God bless. Bye.